Hi everyone, you Beach Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. Guys, this whole um, plot thickens with where is Wendy Williams um, and now we hear that her ex Kevin Hunter after all this time over a year because I want to say this divorce or she filed for divorce in 2019 so in 2019 so 2020 2021 2022 now Kevin Hunter decides to sue Wendy Williams ex um, production company for wrongful termination. Why does he decide that now? Does he decide that now um, on the hills of Wendy's show being canceled? On the hills of Wendy probably getting no more money? On the hills of Wendy Williams uh, accounts at Wells Fargo's being frozen? And maybe now his money train is going to stop? So he had to find a new way to get some more money because him and Sharina are used to live in a certain lifestyle. So after all these years, Kevin Hunter decides he's going to sue for wrongful termination. I mean, did he go to sleep and wake up and say, you know what, that wasn't right? And it took him years to figure out that was not right? Well, let's get into this article from page six. Well, Kevin Hunter, you know what? He's a piece of work and he won't stop. He's relentless. Um, he feels that he's entitled to a certain lifestyle. And if the money is no longer coming out of Wendy's bank account, and I'm not saying this for fact, guys, but just follow what I'm saying. If the win money is not coming out of Wendy's bank account anymore, he's going to find a way to get him some money because he refused him and his, uh, um, are they married now? Him and Sharina and the baby, you know, he refused for them to um, live um, poorly and, and not on a certain level. So let's get into this story. It says Kevin Hunter sues Wendy show production company for wrongful termination. And I'm like, when did this awakening come? You didn't know you was wrongfully terminated back when you got terminated? And so they're saying that Kevin Hunt is becoming a hot topic again. And yes, he is because there's been sprinklings that Kevin is back with Wendy. Now, this I did not know. I thought that Kevin and Serena still lived in Jersey, but I think they're saying that Kevin Hunter lives in Florida with Serena and the baby. This is not good. Okay, so Wendy Williams' ex-husband is suing the production company of her infamous day, um, daytime talk show for wrongful termination. Documents were attained by page six, okay? The civil lawsuit filed in New York City federal court Monday claims that Denmark Mercury wrongfully fired Hunter on the basis of his marital status to Wendy. So he's saying that Hunter was one of the reasons behind the Wendy Williams show um, tremendous success. And you know what? No matter what we think about Kevin Hunter, I'm going to say that's true. Um, he had a lot to do with Wendy's success overall. He had a lot to do with Wendy actually showing up and um, being seated in that purple chair at her show. So I'll give that to him. I'm going to say that that is definitely true. He said everything seemed to go south after he left the show. Um, again, we got to give credit where credit is due no matter how we feel about Kevin Hunter. It is true. When Kevin was no longer behind the scenes of Wendy Williams, everything did go left, okay? So he said everything seemed to go left. So Hunter's attorney, um, Abe George, told Pay 6 in a statement Wednesday morning, okay? Mr. Hunter was unlawfully terminated solely due to his marital status to Wendy, which is contrary to human rights laws in NYC, Okay. Hunter 49 was fired from the role as executive producer from the Wendy Williams show in April of 2019. This is where I have a problem with the story. So you was fired in April of 2019. You got April of 2021, April, uh, 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 wait, I'm sorry, April of 2020, April of 2021. And now we're in 2022. It took you all of this time to figure out that you was wrongfully fired. Or is it again because the money train from Wendy is about to slow down? But let's continue. Just a week after the now reclusive talk show host filed for divorce, um, 
from him after his then girlfriend Sharina Hudson became pregnant. The lawsuit seeks to compensate Mr. Hunter for the sweat equity that he put into the show and that Denmark Mercury will continue to profit on even in their reincarnation of the Wendy Williams show. And they're talking about this being reincarnated for Chevy Shepard. Um, George added, referencing the cancellation of the show and Sherry Shepard permanent takeover. Okay, so Hunter Lawsuits um, names Denmark Mercury founders um, Ira Bernstein and Mort Marcus as defendants and demands a jury trial. So, you know, that's arrogance right there, but we all know that Kevin Hunter, he's arrogant, right? Arrogance right there to say that you don't even want this settled out of court. You want a jury to decide on your fate. Like, that's just pure arrogance, okay? So Hunter, who is now living in Florida with his fiance Hudson. So he is down there in Wendy Williams' business. So, you know, and Sharina, she don't care. She was used to being second anyway. And although she is, she's going to go down in history as one of the women that, um, although she was a side chick, she got treated and had equal rights like Wendy Williams. Um, she Kevin was just giving her everything. And so now, why would she care that they moved down to Florida where his ex-wife is and allegedly, you know, probably not doing well and she's going down there they're, they're following the money her and kevin are following the money which is dreadful okay so it says it um um with his fiance is seeking a monetary award of at least seven million as well as punitive damages lost wages and legal fees according to the court documents Hunter was named executive producer of The Wendy Williams Show in 2007. The lawsuit states that he was involved in the show's branding and helped develop the show's beloved segments like Hot Topics, Shoe Cam, and The Hot Seat. Um, again, I, I, I don't, I'm not a, a Kevin Hunter fan, but do I believe that what he's saying is true in this lawsuit? I do. Meanwhile, Williams, 57, is tied up in her own legal battle with Wells Fargo, which has frozen her assets over concerns of her well-being. So there was a lot of sprinklings where people were saying that, oh, Wendy has not totally disappeared. She's back with Kevin Hunter. Kevin Hunter is in the midst of things and they're getting back together. Now that I know for sure that Kevin Hunter lives in Florida with Serena and that Wendy Williams is in Florida with her family. So we think. We don't know because we haven't physically heard or seen from Wendy Williams herself in over six months. Now, um, all of those sprinklings of they're saying that Kevin is behind a lot of the shenanigans. I'm starting to really wholeheartedly believe it. This is messy, people. We got to keep our ears to the ground. And um, it, it's not, all things are not looking well for Wendy, in my opinion, right? Um, they're saying vultures are after her money. But now I'm going to lean towards, and listen, this is my own opinion. It's not just any vulture that's after her money and her fortune. It's the ex. Why would he move to Florida? He lived in Jersey. Him and Serena lived in New Jersey from, 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 for how long? The whole time the Wendy Williams show was going on, they lived in Jersey. They had mansions in Jersey. And now all of a sudden you picked up and you moved to Florida, Kevin? Something not right. And now all of a sudden he, he had an epiphany like, you know, that this firing in April of 2019 that he was wrongfully fired. He, he just came to that conclusion. Nah, people. He came to that conclusion because he knows since Wendy's show was canceled, the money train is going to start to slow down. And he did with, um, listen, I, I hate to say this. He did like Pence will normally do, right? He went down there for his number one person that he ran her whole life. And, and I'm going to have to say allegedly took all of her darn money or most of her money and did whatever he wanted to do with it. So his number one person that he was running, that's why he went down to Florida. Now he's doing this lawsuit. This whole thing is a whole hot mess. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments and let me know your thoughts. This is not good. This is not right. 
All of a sudden, he wants to have a lawsuit. Why? Because your money train has stopped. All of a sudden, he lives in Florida now. Why? When this whole time, for years, they was living in Jersey. But now, since Wendy is in Florida with her family, that's where you at? Guys, this is not good. Chat with me in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Talk to me about this situation. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back with you. Don't forget to hit the like button. Kevin, 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 Kevin. And Serena, like, as a woman, as a woman... Like, do you want this karma back on your back? Why would you even go for these shenanigans? I hope if you're there, you're not doing Wendy dirty. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.